Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. And together, we shall make our Biafran dream a reality. Dr. Paul Enenche, a renowned man of God, very respectable man of God, has put serious fear in the minds of the Kash and Kari Nigerian judiciary and their judges in order to set them straight. He wants to set them straight. It's happening there. And this is panicking the Fulani caliphates and their jihadist government. You know, and this may have been the reason why the chief justice disguised as a cripple on wheelchair to sneak out of Nigeria to meet with the president select because the petition against him by the opposition parties have thrown them out of balance and they don't know how to go about it. And now the people shouting go to court and now using tribal and religious propaganda as a cover to use the criminal DSS to arrest the oppositions and those who speaks against them or those who faulted the flawed election process. That is what they are doing. They did the same thing to our great leader, Mazen Amdekano. They went as far as Kenya, Nairobi, to kidnap him, torture him, and illegally extradited him to Nigeria. And they threw him into a solitary confinement cell denied him of medicals and food and the type of clothes he wants to wear. Even their own court freed him, yet they refused to obey their court judgments because he did not favor them. He did not favor them. So it is not new, all these things happening in the zoo. It's not new. It's not new. But the thing there is that when these things were happening to Mazen Amdekano, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network, all these politicians in the South, in Biafra land, they kept silent. Some of them came out and they were supporting the Fulani Janjaweed government. They supported them. Supported their evil. And now, they are using that same evil against the one Nigerian unity beggars. They are using it. You know, our great leader, Mazen Amdekano, did not commit any offense against the Nigerian constitution or any known international law, yet they kidnapped him. The extraordinary reditioned him to Nigeria, which is a violation of his human rights. And that is why the renowned man of God, Paul Enenche, had to pray for the highly respected administrator of Nigerian justice systems, 
lordship who sits in judgment to receive grace and help from God to do the right thing. Pastor Enenche advised Nigerian judiciary that they should do the following so that they can write their names in gold. He told them that whatever they can defend at the end of their lives before God, the judge of all judges, the Lord of all lords, that they should do it. That whatever they will be proud of themselves at the end of the day, they should do it. Whatever their children and family can be proud of them for at the end of the day, they should do it. Whatever they want their nation and generation to remember them for, they should do it. Whatever they will do again in 50 years' time, if they were still alive, they should do it. Whatever will leave them with zero regrets at the end of their journey, they should do it. Whatever they will do, if neither fear, finance, nor favor is consideration, they should do it. Whatever will provoke them, the applause of both God and man, they should do it. Whatever is in the spirit of justice, fairness, and good character, they should do it. Whatever will not haunt their conscience for, for years to come, they should do it. Whatever does not constitute the miscarriage of justice and the abortion of truth, they should do it. Whatever will increase confidence of the nation and the world in the impartiality and integrity of judiciary, they should do it. Whatever will increase the respect, regard, dignity, and value of the Nigerian judiciary in the eyes of Nigerians and the world at large, they should do it. Whatever does not lead to the vindication of evil and the vilification of good, that they should do it. Whatever will constitute a positive and transformative reference and authority for generations to come, they should do it. My brothers and my sisters, what a great advice. The Bible says, he who has an ear, let him hear. And that is why those who stole mandates, they tapped Peter B's phone for over three years now. And they found nothing on him. They found nothing. And now they are calling him daddy. They are calling him daddy. He's the daddy of all of them. Because they found nothing on him. But we know how the Fulani Janja would operate. The only solution is Biafra Restoration. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Bye-bye for now.